today I'm out in the shop removing the coil covers on my 2013 5 liter, but this applies to any 2011 through 2017 5 liter or 2015 through 2022 5.2 liter. If you need to remove the coil covers to service either the coils or the spark plugs, or if you just want to change the coil covers to a decorative color, different color, then this video is for you. To remove the coil covers, there is a left and a right side coil cover. They are different. They're unique for each side. This one has a hole in it for this um, vent tube. And I'll show you the trick to taking that off. You have to take that off. And it's really easier to take off. The fuel line has a, a mounting location here and here in the back. Those just pull out. Those are easy. On the right side, you also have to take the tube off here, take the cap off. And the reason you take the cap off, it's like it, it would sneak around the cap. It's easier if you just take the cap off because you have to get past this battery mounting tab here for the battery tray, that little tab. So it's got to come out. And there's three tabs on each of these, on each side. I'll show you how to do the driver's side. On the driver's side, you have to take this crankcase breather tube off, and you have to take it off here. But my tab, to take it off, their little spring-loaded tabs, is down underneath here. So just it's simple, take this one off, and this one will be a, a good example of how to take it off. So you take the tube and push it in, push it that way. That releases the pressure on this plastic spring to get it to release, and you have to pull it spring this way to get around this little notch right here you see the little black plastic notch pull it back and away and you can tell that it already released tension on it and then you simply pull it off there's where it gets caught on and once you've done that pivot it around and now I can see the tab here and that's down into the coil cover. So I can't get my finger down in there. My finger's too fat to get down in here. So I'm gonna use, you could either use a needle nose pliers, that would work well, or a small regular screwdriver. Use a needle nose to get down there. So push it down, push the whole assembly down to make sure it releases the pressure on it. And again, I have to pull it up towards me And then once I have, I can push it this way to get it to release. And I'm trying to do it one handed now. Locked itself back in. There it goes. So just a little plastic spring release hold it on and then it has an o-ring inside so then fuel line mounting location this tab front and back just pulls out goes into a, just a hole same thing in the front Get a, different angle for you right here in the front that just gets it out of the way or makes it so it it can move there you can just leave it there and you're gonna push it it'll be able to move out of the way same way in the back And then the coil cover 
it's mounted in three spots. It's just push in. They come out really easy. It has these three little replaceable little mounting locations. And then it has corresponding studs. Let's see if we can find them. Okay, here's one. And here's one in the light. You can see it better. And those are replaceable. Those just screw in if you need to. More than likely, you need to may need to replace these. And those you can buy on Amazon. I'll put a link to them in this video's description. So you can purchase those if you need to. That's it. Power by Ford. To reinstall them it's just a reverse process you put it back the way it was it's like it's easy to line up this uh, connection right here get it centered on the hole gonna push my fuel line out of the way in the back and again line up that hole and then just push it back on snaps back in nothing to it and then the line Just simply pushes on until it locks. Same way for here on this side. Just pushes on and then fuel lines just push back in. Now that concludes the video. If you found it helpful, let me know in the comments. And if you did, please subscribe. I look forward to your comments.